What's up RC Freaks, it's Ricky here and you guys are watching Ricky Revo RC. If you like the video be sure to subscribe and a thumbs up is always appreciated. In this episode we're going to be laying down the masking for the uh, Proline F-150 Raptor body, the Black Ops 3 body. First thing you need to do is, we need to get the body all cleaned up. I just used some detergent and if you notice there I'm actually using the rough side of the sponge. I use that side because it gives a little bit of scratch and it gives the, the paint something to adhere to. Now one thing to know about using that side of the sponge is if you're going to leave windows clear try not to go over the windows because you will see a little bit of scratch marks. I mean not that it matters after you get the body on you take it out bashing but just just something to keep in mind. And once you're done you know obviously we want to get that thing cleaned up get all the water off you know you don't want nothing in there when you're laying down your mask and stuff like that it's the worst thing you get a little drizzle of water come out while you're trying to do something it just wrecks everything so you want to make sure that everything is nice dry clean all that good stuff clean the outside because you, you see all these water marks and you're like where are they so just make sure you clean the outside there we go all right now we're going to start laying down the masking now when you lay down masking you want to kind of, you really don't want to overlap the tape too much. So you want to actually get the most out of your tape. You want to keep the overlaps very small, very minimal. That way you have less tape to cut when you're actually cutting out your mask. Anytime I do something on the hood of the car, I always lay the first piece of tape right dead center you know you kind of eyeball the center as best you can and then you just kind of work the tape out from there that seems to work out the best for me you know it's just if you start from one side yeah the hoods are never really straight so you actually get like a kind of a weird angle and everything just comes out kind of weird so I always just start right in the middle and it's been working out for me so once you get all your tape down you see there just make sure you push all your tape down push it into the little grooves and the body lines and all that stuff you want to kind of get it all in there because you kind of don't want any bubbles or anything like that. So once you got all that done, I'm right here I'm just cutting out the picture, you know, make it smaller so I don't have to fold the paper over and stuff like that. And it helps when you're doing placement, you know, you want to get it as straight as possible. So you don't want really want extra paper flopping around, getting in your way. So just cut the image out and lay it down. And once you find a spot you like, just go ahead, tape it down, make sure everything's straight, all that good stuff. And there's a bunch of different ways. You can use the lines in the body and the distance between the paper and all that stuff. You can just eyeball it. When you eyeball stuff, I think it comes out the best. Same thing here. You know, we're just going to trim out the picture. This roof was actually not too bad. I was able to actually see the picture through the piece of paper. And there's actually lines on the roof. So I was actually able to feel it out and kind of look where everything was sitting so it was a little easy to center the roof on this one I mean it's just three lines going against another set of lines you know just set it down get it where it's got to go and same thing tape it down good to go so here I am transferring the pattern to the tape just makes it a lot easier for me I use a pencil you know and just get kind of a kind of a rough copy there you know I don't, I don't go too crazy with detail here I just get the basic shape outline and all the stupid little details in there and I'll actually come back later and tighten them all up yeah, same thing on the hood transfer the pattern you know the more detailed stuff it's it's a little harder but you know it really helps out later you just get the basic shape like I said, when you go through later, you just add the tightening up and the details and stuff like that because it really does help when you cut it out. And here we are coming back after the rough image is down. And like I said, you just go over everything, you tighten everything up, and you know, something looks a little wonky, or you don't like how it looks, you, this is where you repair it. And that's why I use the pencil because it's thin, it's forgiving, and realistically, if you mess up, you can erase it. There we go. Everything looks pretty good. I got it kind of cleaned up, looking okay. So now we can go ahead and cut this uh, cut this mask out. 
this is where you want to take your time guys you don't want to overcut you don't want to undercut just go slow it'll get done the slower you go the better it comes out so. So now that everything's cut out on the uh, the three logo there, you just go ahead and start peeling. Now, don't get discouraged. You're always gonna have a corner that don't want to come up. That's why you need to peel slow. Well, as long as you peel slow, you see something that's starting to come up that you don't want to come up. Just go ahead back with the exacto uh, knife and trim it a little more. Take a little more off and peel it away when it lets go. This part is definitely my favorite part, peeling away the mask, because all that hard work you put in trying to make everything look good, you know, you laid it all down. This is where it actually starts to show and starts to pay off. I mean, yeah, when you paint it, yeah, it's like, oh, okay, cool, you know, but this is where it really starts to show, so this, this part's my favorite part. Alright, there we go, we get everything cut out, so now what we have to do is take a piece of paper off the top and see if we have to make any corrections. Alright, after a few minor corrections, I think we're good. I think the roof is ready to be painted. Yeah, I like it. Next time, we're going to be doing the hood. But that's all we got for you guys today. Um, I got a new channel. If you guys want to come see me play Black Ops 3, it's called Revo Plays. I'll leave a link in the description. Stop by if you're interested and drop a subscription. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.